I love you so much. Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. And this video today is going to be a prophetic word. As you guys can see, I'm in my bathroom. I'm just like, I have to get this video out to you guys. Okay, so just follow me. Get your Bibles, angels. We're going to be diving over to Genesis chapter 39, okay? Chapter 39 and um, I really felt led by God to read this to you guys. So I think I'm going to pray actually and then I'm going to get into the word and then I'm going to dive into the messages from the Lord today. Okay, angels. So dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this moment, Lord Jesus, this moment with my angels, despite everything it is that I have going on right now, Lord Jesus, I just ask that you bless them, Lord Jesus, and keep them, lead them, Lord Jesus, and guide them. Lord Jesus, use me today, your will and your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. When Joseph was taken to Egypt by the Ishmaelite traders, he was purchased by Potiphar, an Egyptian officer. Potiphar was captain of the guard for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did. Somebody comment down below everything. Glory be to God. He succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. This pleased Potiphar, so he soon made Joseph his personal assistant. He put him in charge of his entire household and everything he owned. Somebody comment down below everything, okay? Everything he owned. From the day Joseph was put in charge of his master's household and property, the Lord began to bless Potiphar's household for Joseph's sake. Okay, Andrew, so people are going to be blessed just because they are attached to you. Okay, Andrews, follow me. All his household affairs ran smoothly and his crops and livestock flourished. So Potiphar gave Joseph complete administrative responsibility over everything. Somebody comment down below. Everything. Over everything he owned. With Joseph there, he didn't worry about a thing except what kind of food to eat. Joseph was a very handsome and well-built young man. And Potiphar's wife soon began to look at him lustfully. Come and sleep with me, she demanded. But Joseph refused. Look, he told her, my master trusts me with everything in his entire household. No one here has more authority than I do. He has held back nothing from me except you because you are his wife. How could I do such a wicked thing? It will be a great sin against God. Okay, Andrew, y'all see the grimy? Y'all see the shade? Listen, she kept putting pressure on Joseph day after day, but he refused to sleep with her. He kept out of her way as much as possible. One day, however, no one else was around when he went in to do his work. Mm, glory be to God. She came and grabbed him by his cloak, demanding, come on, sleep with me. Joseph tore himself away, but he left his cloak in her hand as he ran from the house. When she saw that she was holding his cloak and he had fled, she called out to her servants. Soon all the men came running. Look, she said, my husband had bought this Hebrew slave here to make fools of us. He came into my room to rent me, but I screamed. When he heard me scream, he ran outside and got away, but he left his cloak behind with me. Mm, look at the shade, okay? The extent that people go to, okay? Understand what's going on, okay, Andrews? She kept the cloak with her until her husband came home. Then she told him her story. That Hebrew slave you brought into our house tried to come in and fool around with me, she said. But when I screamed, he ran outside, leaving his cloak with me. Okay, Andrew, so before we dive into verse 19, I need you guys to understand that God had blessed Joseph even in the worst of circumstances. Even though Joseph was a slave, glory be to God, in a strange household and in a foreign land, God still made him successful, okay? God still made sure that he was in charge, okay? Understand what I'm saying to you guys today. So although Joseph is still doing the right thing and he's withstanding temptation, he's not trying to cross his balls. He's still doing the right thing. Somebody comment down below the right thing. OK, the right thing. Do you guys know what it feels like to do the to do the right thing and still see wrong things happening? Glory be to God. So this is the thing. He goes from being like a regular slave to a person of authority, a person that's in charge of everything. OK, God just promotes him like that. OK, so let's dive over to verse 19, Andrews. Potiphar was furious when he heard his wife's story about how Joseph had treated her. So he took Joseph and threw him 
into the prison where the king's prisoners were held. And there he remained. Comment down below with it. You did it. Ooh, glory be to God. Mm. To understand what it feels like to still be treated like you've done something wrong when you've done nothing but right. Mm. Glory be to God. Follow what I'm saying to you guys today. But the Lord was with Joseph in the prison and show him his faithful love. My God, my God, somebody comment down below, but my God. And the Lord made Joseph a favorite with the prison warden. Before long, the warden put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners, glory be to God, and over everything that happened in the prison. The warden had no more worries because Joseph took care of everything. The Lord was with him and caused everything he did to succeed. Ooh, Andrew, so when God had gave me this message and he had gave me this scripture, I was like, okay, God, I see what's going on. Okay, God, I understand. So, angels, if you are watching this video today, understand that sometimes it's going to seem like the good guy finished last, the good girl finished last. Understand that it will be times where you will be innocent and you will still seem to suffer. Like, God, what is this? God, what is this? God, what is this? So, understand that although Joseph went from a slave to a person of authority in charge of everything and then was falsely accused and lied on, okay, and was demoted, okay, was put in prison, incarcerated. Understand what I'm saying to you guys today. God still showed him mercy and favor, okay, and not for nothing. He didn't get discouraged. Glory be to God. He didn't stop doing the right things. Glory be to God. He still remained faithful to God even while he was in prison, okay, even while he was in that tough season. Season, in that season of bondage, even knowing he was innocent. So I don't know who this video is for, angels. I don't know, but I feel it in my spirit that God is going to be rewarding you. Glory be to God. The ones that try to persecute you, try to lie on you, okay? God is coming through with the come through. Hear what I'm saying to you guys today. God is going to be rewarding you for all the things that you've been through. I need for you guys to understand that even in this season, glory be to God, even in prison, God still showed him mercy and favor. God still promoted him and had him in charge of all the other prisoners. Glory be to God. It says in the scripture, but the Lord was with Joseph, but the Lord was with Joseph, Lord Jesus. And the Lord showed him his faithful love, okay? Understand that you will go through some things. Angels, I need for you guys to understand that God has a plan for your life, okay? Angels, I felt led to say the Lord is taking you somewhere. Glory be to God. So those of you who have been feeling lonely in this transition, I'm here to tell you guys that you are not alone. Okay, so God led me to Genesis 39, 20, just to let you guys know that although they threw Joseph in prison, although you guys have been in prison and in bondage, although people have tried to lie on you, listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. God is saying today, I am with you. Glory be to God. Comment down below, the Lord is with me. Yes, God. It said in the Bible, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Glory be to God. God is going to make everything it is that you have going on prosper. I need you guys to be determined to continue to move in God's glory, okay? Don't get off track, okay? Don't get sidetracked by what's going on, okay? I need you guys to stay dedicated and stay the course. Joseph stayed dedicated through it all, okay? He was dedicated. He was a faithful, faithful, faithful person to even be faithful to the king and still get lied on, okay? And still remain faithful to God. Not to question God, say, God, why me? Why this? Why that? What is this? What is that? Like, no. He didn't run and get out of position. No. Joseph stayed in position. Comment down below. Stay in position, okay? Stay in position. So, angels, the Lord is taking you guys into a season where he's asking you to stay focused, okay? But he's asking you to step out. Glory be to God. And you can't keep waiting until the close is clear, okay, angels? You can't keep waiting. You have to step out, say, if the Lord I need you guys to understand that you will not be able to walk in your purpose without stepping out, okay? You have to step out on faith. Understand that dreams are built in the rough places. Comment down below the rough places, the rough places. Understand what I'm saying to you guys today. So I need for you guys to start analyzing your decisions, okay? Analyze your decisions. What is it that you are spending most of your time on, okay, angels? What are you allowing into your life? What are you saying yes to? What are you saying no to? I hear the Lord God saying today, every ball that comes your way is not worth a swing. In the name of Jesus, everything must be connected to your destiny comment down below everything 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 god is saying today know who you are okay find confidence in who you are and who god has caused you to be okay and understand the god that you serve glory be to god he will never leave you nor forsake you you guys need to be specific about who you are walking into this new season glory be to god you need to be very very specific okay you need to be very specific about what you want you need to be very specific about where you're going with who you 
spend your time with. Glory be to God. Understand that if it's not getting closer to where you need to be, then you need to drop it. Glory be to God. You are no longer in a season to be able to carry people, places, and things that is not in alignment. Angels, I need for you guys to understand that you can't say yes to everything. Glory be to God. You can't say yes to everything or you will start to spread yourself too thin, okay? And God had led me to this scripture just to let you know that he is with you, to let you know that although... Although you've been going through your trials and tribulations, God is going to make sure that you prosper, okay? And God is saying that he needs you to be dedicated, okay? He needs you to be trustworthy, okay? He needs you to be a faithful servant. Glory be to God. Get into the habit of saying no in this season. Saying no. You can't go everywhere. You can't help everybody, okay, angels? You can't be around everybody. You can't deal with certain things anymore, anymore, anymore. That season for you is over. It's over. Comment down below. It's over. The Bible says that the steps of a good man is ordered. Glory be to God. God is ordering your steps. It's so important that you start to make decisions based on your future angels instead of what you have going on right now. Stop making decisions based off of your now moment in the name of Jesus. It's going to take a lot of dedication for you to walk into your purpose and for you to continue to stand firm in your purpose. Okay, angels, are you just living in the moment or are you living for the next 10, 20, 30 years? Okay, are you just living in and you're 25 or not thinking about 35, glory be to God. I hear the Lord saying, just be careful, angels. Be careful of being connected to things of your past. Oh, glory be to God. I hear the Lord, our God, say, connect with people who destiny is aligned with yours. Glory be to God. Are the people that you are in company with in alignment Oh, Jesus, I just felt this strong in my spirit, angels. You got to show up every day in this season. Every day. Every day. The message is the message. You got to show up every day in the season, regardless of how you feel, regardless of how you look. My face breaking out. I don't care. Regardless of how you look, okay? Regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of the fact that they lied on you, regardless of the fact they're trying to, oh, Jesus, they're trying to do something to you, okay? They're trying to tear you down, regardless of what you got going on in your life. Oh, I just hear the Lord say, stand firm, stand firm, my child. God is saying today, if you are faithful over a few things, glory be to God, I will make you ruler over many nations, many, many nations, glory be to God. Some of y'all are waiting for that perfect moment to show up, that perfect moment to start, start your business, start this and that that God has told you to do. You can't wait for that perfect moment, okay? It doesn't matter. God is saying you have to show up when there's only one person, okay? You have to show up when the audience is only small, okay? If you want God to make you ruler over much more, ruler over many, you have to be faithful with the small things. You have to be faithful when there's only a few. Glory be to God. Oh, Jesus. Some of y'all, some of y'all been left for dead. I just kept hearing left for dead, left for dead. Understand that Joseph was thrown into a pit and left for dead by his own brothers, okay? But he survived. Comment down below. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Glory be to God. And it's all because someone lied on him, okay? One lie caused him to lose everything and be thrown into jail. Glory be to God. And Joseph did everything right and still lost his job. Glory be to God. Who knows what it feels like to do everything right? Woo! Who knows what it feels like to give something all you got and it still don't work out. Give somebody all you got and it still don't work out. Glory be to God. So I want to ask you today, angels, like what are you dedicated to? Oh, Jesus. What are you dedicated to? When you read the text, Joseph is an inmate and it says that God was with him. Let's just talk about the moments for a second where your life contradicts the prophecy. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord saying the prophecy must be filled. Okay. But there will be moments and times in your life where your life just doesn't match up to the prophecy, the promises of God. Who Jesus. When we look at this text, we know that the Lord was with Joseph. Glory be to God. The Lord was with him, okay? We know that the Lord has showed Joseph mercy, okay? No matter what it is that they tried to do to mess up his character, they tried to break him, break his spirit, change him from doing the right things to the wrong things, okay? He could have done that, but the Bible says his mercy is new every morning. Glory be to God. God is giving you new mercy every morning, okay? God is giving you faith favor, mercy over this thing. God is with you through this thing. We also know that he gave Joseph favor with the wording, okay? God is giving you favor. God is giving you favor. Stop worrying about this situation that you've been stressing about, okay? Who, Jesus, I get so excited reading this because I'm just saying, y'all, I love the fact that Joseph stayed dedicated in prison and he just stayed in position. Who, how, how hard is it to stay in position when everything is coming at you at one time? Who, how hard is it to stay in position when people is trying they look and testing you oh how hard is it to stay in position when you work in a job that you don't need to be at anymore oh how hard is it to stay
stay in position when you're in a relationship that no longer serves you. Whew. I hear the Lord saying, don't let these things change you. Glory be to God. Don't let the hardships of your life change who you are. Glory be to God. You got to be consistent. So I comment down below consistent. Even when life is complicated, you got to be consistent. You got to stand 10 toes down, okay? Understand that God blesses people that he can trust. Can God trust you? Can God trust you with a few? Okay, before he give you many, before he bless you with more, can God trust you with a few? Joseph was still in prison. Joseph was in prison and he was still giving, okay? Joseph was in prison. He was still interpreting dreams and everything, okay? Don't allow life to change who you are, okay? Make a decision of who you are, who God has called you to be, and no matter what the circumstances is, no matter what it is that you're going through, remain consistent in who God has called you to be, okay? God is saying today, can I trust you enough to invest in you? I hear the Lord God saying, keep doing the right things when all the wrong things are happening, okay? And you stay dedicated, glory be to God. God can only bless what you are consistent about, okay? God can't bless some mess. God can't bless some inconsistent nonsense, okay? God can only bless what you are consistent about. Try to get stable in what it is that God has called you to do, okay? Start to be more dedicated with yourself. Comment down below, commitment, commitment, commitment. God is asking for you to commit to this thing. Okay, can the Lord count on you? Can he count on you? So angels, don't worry about people, places, and things. Don't worry about things that you can't control. Let the chips fall where they may. Okay, show up every day. Show up every day and fight. Okay, fight, fight every day, every day. It was what Joseph did in prison that got him to the palace. Okay, comment down below from the prison to the palace. Okay, God is taking you to the royal palace. Okay, but it was what Joseph did in prison. Okay, what are you doing in your trials and tribulations? What are you doing in your will? in this season okay are you trusting God are you leaning not on your own understanding okay are you casting your cares on him are you still demonstrating love are you still staying in position glory be to God I need somebody to understand what I'm saying today and that love God to comment down below I'm a king's child glory be to God you guys don't need to be dressing for your now moment okay God wants for you to be dressing for your future moment okay for his promises that he has for you for where it is that you are going okay if God can turn this thing around for Joseph and he can go from being an inmate to being in charge of the other inmates. Woo, glory be to God. God is saying, I'm turning some things around for you. God is turning some things around for you guys. Angels, I don't know who this word is for. Glory be to God, but don't give up, okay? Don't grow bitter. Don't grow bitter, okay? God is waiting on you. Honestly, angels, it took me all day, honestly. It took me all day, angels, to get to you guys, but I want to let you guys know something right now. I really feel led to say this in my spirit. Like, don't give up, okay? Don't grow bitter, okay? Because when God is calling you out and he's transforming you and helping you to understand what your purpose is when I tell you guys everything everything in the devil's power in the devil's corner everything that can come your way will possibly come your way okay I need for you guys to be ready to die about the cause okay understand that you got to be ready to die about this okay a time is coming where people is going to start to mock us okay a time is coming where they're going to start to persecute us and kill us because we are believers and we are followers of the most high God okay what side are you on okay you are, are you willing to die about it are you willing to to die about it is what the Lord is saying today. I love you guys so much. I pray that you guys receive this word. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.